If you've been wanting to wash your hair extensions for a while now and you just haven't pulled the trigger because you don't know if there's like a special technique or you know if there's a way to mess up your extensions, you want to make sure to avoid that. So I'm going to show you a really quick 10 step process to wash your extensions and keep them happy, healthy, thriving without ruining them. First thing you want to do is to brush them out. You want to brush them out before you do anything to them, whether it's washing them, styling them, putting them in your hair, anything, brush them out first. And just like when you brush your own hair, any hair you brush, start from the bottom and work your way up just to avoid ripping, causing more tangles, anything like that. Just start from the bottom gently, work your way up, preferably a wide tooth comb or a tangle teaser, just one of those ones that have a bendable bristle or wide tooth comb. You don't want anything too fine because that's just going to rip the hair out. Step two, fill the sink with warm water. You don't want it too hot. You don't want it too cold. You want it like Goldilocks, just right. And while you're filling it with warm water, mix in some shampoo. You don't need to use shampoo directly on the extensions unless they're like crazy dirty, like if you dropped them in a mud puddle or something. Otherwise, just mixing some in the water is good enough because these extensions they're not staying in your hair all the time so they're really not gonna get too dirty oily or anything like that so just a little bit of shampoo and preferably some that's you know the good kind you want to use on your own hair the pear brent pear bam however you say that word sulfate free all that kind of stuff and color treated hair safe is also a really good thing to look out for when you're washing your extensions step three divide your extensions out into smaller sections you can do it all in one clump it's just you're not gonna be able to be as precise you might miss cleaning some spots or in the end you might miss rinsing out some spots so just go ahead and divide them up into smaller more manageable sections all right step four is time to wash the extensions make sure you really saturate them in the water and be gentle okay you don't want to tangle them you don't want to tug and pull on them and like break the hair so just gently bring them through the water kind of just really saturate them and get that stuff in there and that you should be good to go set five after you have shampooed the hair it's now time to condition now you can use regular conditioner but i would prefer to use a deep conditioner slash hair mask kind of thing because you're not washing the extensions too often so when you do just you really want to get the best bang for your buck right so you want to do something deep and nourishing because this hair not being attached to your head like naturally it's not going to get the natural oils so it needs all the help it can get so step six is after you've put on the deep conditioner, leave it there as long as possible. So like at least an hour or two, but if you can leave it overnight, that would be great because it's just really gonna help this hair absorb that mask. If you're going through this process, you might as well just do it right. <laughs> Step seven, rinse out the conditioner. Now this is important because you want to really get all that conditioner out. Really run your fingers through the hair and get that conditioner out because that is not what you want to be left in there. It's gonna get oily and feel just nasty and look nasty. So make sure you get all the conditioner out. After that, turn the water on really cold and give them a little cold bath. That's something that you're kind of supposed to do anyways with your own hair, but I cannot be in a cold shower. So my hair doesn't get the luxury of cold water going over it before I get out of the shower and what's good about that it really helps just seal the hair and like close up the follicles so then it will hold in the moisture and just it's healthier for the hair so since this isn't attached to your body you have no excuse just run it through some really cold water it's good for the extensions <laughs> Okay, step nine is to dry them. If you can, let them air dry overnight, throughout the day, whatever. Let them air dry because just the least amount of heat you can use on them, the better. Same with your own hair. But these extensions, unless you just like need them that night, please just let them air out overnight, okay? So let's say you're going to take my advice and let them air dry overnight. Step 10 is laying them flat on a surface, maybe a desk, a bench, a chair, something, on a towel, lay them each individually and brush them as carefully as possible again preferably with a wide tooth comb just to make sure that they are straight and they're not going to dry all funny you know it's where you're going to have to use a lot of heat on them to fix it anyways so just lay them out flat use the towel to soak up any excess water or moisture in the hair and then just leave them be until they're dry Okay, and if you wanna really get the best bang for your buck, put in some leave-in treatment, whether it's a leave-in conditioner or some hair oil, anti-frizz, anything like that. Do a little bit, just a little bit on the hair as they dry, it'll just help them dry better, you know? So a little extra leave-in treatment is just cherry on top. 
So my final tip that I'm gonna leave you with is, though you may feel like you wanna wash your extensions a lot because you know, we wash our hair a lot. So if the extensions are getting used, we should wash them. Don't, don't do it often at all. Like the only reason you should need to is if there's a lot of product buildup or if they're starting to smell funny or if they're looking and feeling just like they need new life. <laughs> Otherwise, just don't worry about it because them not being attached to your head, again, not getting your natural oils, washing them is stripping them of what little you know health it does have so the least often you can do that the better and again doing the extra stuff like hair oil a deep conditioner when you do wash is just gonna really help because washing is just gonna hurt them so unless you absolutely have to don't <laughs> well that's how you wash hair extensions if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful useful entertaining anything like that be sure to give it a thumbs up to help support my channel and yeah I'll see you in the next video thanks again so much for watching and have a wonderful day